Katie simplified the expression x plus b multiplied by x plus c, where b is less than 0 and c is less than 0, to form x squared plus gx plus k. What must be true about g and k? And we see the choices here are basically g or k is less than or greater than 0. Now at first this, this question might seem a bit tricky, but when we think about it, we're simply uh, expanding this using FOIL to result in this. So we know that b is less than 0, this is less than 0, and c is less than 0. So overall, uh, this is going to be the result of a negative number, and the c is going to be a negative number. We know that when using FOIL, the, uh, the last part, the L, the last negative number times a negative number, we know that's going to result in the actual K. So when we have a negative number times a negative number, it's K is guaranteed to be positive. So we know that K must be greater than zero. So choice A is a possibility. Choice uh, C is a possibility. And choice B and D are eliminated. Now, what about the uh, g value? What do we know about the g value? When we expand out uh, foiling these things here, uh, we have the g is a result of the uh, foil, o, the letter O and I, the outside. So here we're going to have the uh, some negative number times x. It's going to be uh, uh, since c is a negative number, we're going to get a negative some number x and then added with the inside. But b also is negative, so the negative uh, some number added with negative another number, which happens to be multiplied by x, is going to make it even more negative. So that uh, the g value is going to end up being more negative. So g must be negative. So the only choice here that's correct is 40A. To see this a bit more concretely, this is a bit ab abstract. It's nice to, nice to actually try out a real example. So let's just try out, uh, we have x minus two. We'll just say that b is, uh, b is actually negative two. And we have uh, x uh, uh, minus three. So we'll just say c is also negative. Let's uh, foil this out. This is equals to x squared. We have uh, negative 3x, negative 2x. We're adding these. This becomes negative 5x. And then our k value, this here is our g value. Our k value is going to be the last. Negative 2 times negative 3 is going to be positive 6. This would be our uh, k value. And this would be our g value. We can see that for this example where b and c is less than 0, that indeed g is less than zero is negative five in this concrete example, and the k value is greater than zero.